Hi hey guys, Paul from PA Bruni. It's a 700th uh, video coming up. This is some high racks. So I figured I'd pop in some high racks. There we go. Turn it down a little bit. That's okay. So, as I've said previously, 700 videos. Wow! 700 videos for my PA Bruni's channel, and I want to thank all of you guys for coming. Coming along for the big old ride that we've been on, uh, for this special brew, I have a special brew right here, 2000 uh, Vintage of Conquest Ale from Master Brew, well, the, the Conquest Ale Master Brew, it's a pale ale from uh, George Galen Company, which was later bought out by Fuller's Inc. in 2005 or 2006, um, because I know they made the, the George Gerald Ole Ale. And that was up to 2005, so I'm saying in about 2006. They still do some of these brews from the George Gale line, but they're not corked like they are now. They're just capped. Um, so go check out the Fuller's line because Fuller's makes beautiful beer, and I'm sh I'm assuming if they do still make the George Gale stuff, quality stuff. So, like I said, this is a pale ale. For, <laughs> this is a 15-year-old pale ale, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, product of the United Kingdom, George Gale Company Limited. Uh, Conquest Ale Master Brew, 9% alcohol. A 9% alcohol pale ale? What the f- Wow! <laughs> That's nuts! Uh, bottle condition traditionally brewed pale ale has matured in the Victorian brewery for many months prior to hand bottling. Serve, remove cork, and pour carefully to retain the yeast in the shoulder, which is the unique bottle style that you see. Store in a cool, dark place as fine wine. So, brewed and bottled by the B United Master Collection by George Gale and Company Limited, Corndale, United Kingdom. So, very, very fun stuff. Let's take this off. Take it off. See if I can take it off without everything. See, it, it broke because it's old. There you go. There you go. Take that off. The razor knife. The razor knife took that off nice. I have something over here that I actually had in my pocket because I'm a drunk. I mean, whatever. So I figured this might be able to take said cork out. And now at this point in time, we are trying to take the cork out. There is no turning back now. We are now in the committed zone. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. That's okay, I don't mind getting cork in the bottle. Let's try it one more time, gently. 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 And when it breaks, you gotta do the traditional pull. Boy, this is going to hell in a handbasket because look in the hair. That's all right. This is actually a fun little review of watching Paul fuck up a cork really, really bad because it's old. You don't get that in many channels, do you? No, nope, only here. Only at PA Brew News can you actually watch my, yours truly, self completely fuck up a cork. Let's see actually how this goes. It's really in there, but at the same time, I kind of have high hopes about getting it out. Without getting too crazy. Wow. Wow. I plan on doing uh, two different shots of this video anyway. I had no idea because it was going to be because of the cork that I was going to do that. Wow. This is corky. Let's push it in. Just push it in. Eh, it's in. Well, let's see. Let's do it. God. Fuck it. Let's do it. There it is. Only slightly quirky, honestly. 
Your own table. Official. Actually, it looks really nice. Very sediment in, in, in the corkiness. This is not Belgian sedimentation. This is corky sedimentation. But, it still seems to have some kind of residual kind of carbonation going on. Really nice. Well, it smells like a, a fine grape or a white wine. You know, a little raisin, apple cider, grape, white grape juice. Interesting. Kind of ruining it with the cork thing, but I really don't care. Yeah, really sharp, really sharp white wine, really sharp white wine and a, and a kind of an, uh, like an apple cider, not an apple cider vinegar as per se, that's more that the astringent uh, take is more along the lines of the uh, uh, white grape juice. It was a fun test to do, and I and as soon as I saw it, I couldn't pass it up to give it a go. But over time, a pale ale has matured into kind of a a woody because of the cork, kind of like a woody apple cider vinegar with hints of, of grape juice in it. Unfortunately, it has changed. It, it uh, some people might love this, but eh, I know it's turned. I can just tell. It's not undrinkable. Yep. Light, light hints of raisins. Light sweetness. Just a little bit of a caramel sweetness still I can kind of pick up. Definitely big on the white grape juice. A little bit of that apple cider touches. It's got a soft, like a subtle soft sizzle on the tongue. And all the yeast is still clung to the bottom of the bottle. 9% alcohol, it's not bad. Well, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me with this one. It's a little bit of a bust on, on my end for this beer. Unfortunately, it didn't age like a champ like I was hoping it would with that big ABV. But that's not really, it's really about it. It's more just having fun and having you guys enjoy me well on this fun. That's the whole thing about beer tubing. Um, we get a lot of shit from people because of this, that, and stuff. Because they're judgmental pricks, basically. Uh, but, it, I mean, there's a lot of people that I've met on here that are really great people. And we have, have forward kind of a relationship over time with uh, communication, beer trades, the Albino Rhino Beer Fest that's going on is just amazing. Second year in a row now. Um, all that kind of stuff wouldn't have happened if, if it wasn't for beer tube. So, I mean, the beer drink is kind of like the secondary point of it. It's more just having fun and communicating with people with like minds and uh, and people that just like to have fun and not really care about too much stuff. So, um, 700 videos. 800 some odd beer reviews or whatever. But 700 videos and, and you guys have kind of joined on whenever, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I never thought I'd get to that, and also 400 subscribers. I couldn't believe that. Uh, I started off with three, I remember, way back in the day. For months, I only had three. Uh, Dave uh, Tuvar, the Urban Viking, uh, Terry K from Beer Goggles, and DJ from DJ's Beer Tube. I remember that, and everything just kind of, you know, you guys helped me get kind of known and kick-started and spread it around, and I thought I just joined in. And, now, you know, you guys like watching me, I like commenting, and I like uh, I like your feedback. I like commenting back. So, I just want to take uh, this 700 since the beer was kind of shit. I'd like to take this time just to say thanks and uh, 
catch me for catch me uh, catch me again for more PA Brunis because there's still more beer to come. Some uh, brewery tours coming up, interviews, bullshit like that, some fest, uh, some fest action, stuff like that. So uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, I uh, kind of formed a little thing over the years where it's not like you know this noise, that noise, that noise. I understand some of my old reviews were a little noisy. The only noise you get now basically is from this thing and this asshole spewing diarrhea near the camera, so yeah, you don't seem to mind it, so that's pretty good stuff. Uh, so, until we meet again, this has been Paul from PA Brunies with a turned beer that I'm not going to drink, but hey, it gives, gives a shit. You know, that's all it's all about. You don't know until you open it up. But I have this one. That wasn't turned, was it? No, it wasn't. Cheers. See you later, guys.